here with Councilman elect Phil Cohen, let the pulse be the first to actually say that. Phil, congratulations. Hard fought. Thank you, Peter. Yes, I mean, absolutely excellent. Now, Phil, earlier today, I, we walked in. We were here a little earlier. You didn't want to come on camera, which we respect because the numbers didn't come in. When you came back, you threw your arms up in jubilation that you won. First of all, what do you need to say to your supporters out there who have been with you since May when you started knocking on doors? Well, it's been a long campaign, Peter. I mean, we started this announcement in May. And we had a great turnout over at 10th and Willow. And it seems like it's been a long time to November 5th. Uh, a lot of people have been helpful. A lot of people put window signs up for me. A lot of people agreed to walk and knock doors for me. And I couldn't have done it without their support. So thank you to all of my supporters, to the people who gave generously, my friends, my family, people who believed in me and thought that I would be a good change for new leadership for the 5th Ward and I'm looking forward to serving my neighbors. I've knocked on over 2,500 doors, and I've made some real relationships, and I think that's reflected in the vote totals today. It, it certainly is, it certainly is, and it's certainly very, very impressive. Phil, did you actually believe, and, and, and certainly you worked hard enough for it, that this, because most insiders and analysts and people who follow the Hoboken government scene did believe that the fifth ward was going to go to a runoff. Did you actually believe in your heart of hearts that it was, or did you know that, you were going to do it on the first ballot like you did tonight? I, I, no, I did not believe that I was going to do it on the first ballot tonight. I was knocking on doors tonight until 740, okay? There was a woman who was a tenant in a building that I knocked at 730 who was going through chemotherapy, who wasn't feeling well. I got my car, I drove her to Wallace School at 735 so she could vote this evening. I never took for granted that I was going to have enough votes to avoid a runoff. I worked right to the last minute to see if I could get enough votes to get over the 50% threshold. I felt good that I was likely to be the leader in the race, but the thought of having to go another four weeks uh, was something that I was really hoping to avoid. I was prepared to do it, and I had prepared my family for it and my supporters for it, and I never really believed until I heard from Michael Harper just a few minutes ago that I wasn't going to have to do it. And that's why, that's what you saw me so excited about because that was the moment that I realized that I really don't have to work another four weeks until December 3rd runoff. That was a very, it was a great relief. I mean, as you know, I've, I've participated in elections as a candidate, as a campaign manager of many. It is not easy campaigning and doing it for six months. Trust me, you don't want to do it for an extra day. But now that you're the councilman elect, the real work starts. You're going to, of course, take over January 1st. Um, what, can you just let the residents of the fifth ward, those who voted for you and those who didn't vote for you, um, know what they can expect from you as their new councilman? Sure. Well, first, I'm planning on taking the weekend off. <laughs> as well you should. <laughs> I promised my wife that we were going to take a weekend off even if there was a runoff. So uh, I owe it to Rebecca to do that. Uh, as far as the residents of the fifth ward, I made some real connections with them. I really care about them. Uh, whether you're living in a row house, whether you're living in Fox Hill, whether you're living in affordable housing, you are the people who I'm going to represent. You are the people I'm going to work for. You're the people I'm going to care about every day. I've given out my email address to them all. It's hobokenphil at gmail. I pride myself on responding to their messages. I'm looking forward to being a responsive council person who is interested in the day-to-day -day issues that they're dealing with and do what I can, if not to solve their problems, at least be able to put them in interest, uh, put them in touch with people who can help them and be caring about them and facilitate their ability to get their issues addressed. Phenomenal. And Phil, we were able to come in, as I said, when uh, you announced to the capacity crowd here at uh, City Bistro in Hoboken, and, and you embraced the mayor. Is there anything you want to say? I know the mayor, of course, supported you. It's obviously if the numbers are not official tonight, but it looks like a pretty tough night for many of his candidates that ran. Um, is there anything you want to say to the to the mayor Bala specifically um, throughout this journey to your victory? Well, let me just say, I think the dynamic of the city council is going to be different with a fifth ward councilman represented by myself. I think that. You know, I'm someone who's going to be active, I'm going to be engaged, I'm going to be an independent voice on the city council, and I think the whole tone of the council is going to be different. I don't think it, it's going to be the way it was before, and I, I mean, I don't want to overstate the importance of my victory, but I do think it's a trend. 
and we're not going to have a 7-2 council anymore. It's going more towards 6-3, and it's going in a direction where Mayor Bala, heading into his re-election year, is going to be in a situation where he's going to have more cooperation, more uh, working with the council in a way that's productive as opposed to uh, hoboken games and politics in a way that really doesn't help anyone. And I'd really like to see us take a more constructive path forward, and I want to be a part of that. Well, Phil, congratulations. Doing it on the first ballot, you should really be proud. Fifth Ward, Councilman-elect Phil Cohen. Peter Biancomano, your hostess with the mostess of The Pulse with Peter B. Folks, get on our YouTube page and binge watch all of our past episodes by typing in in your search bar, The Pulse with Peter B. And make sure you subscribe to that channel as well. And also, if you have any questions for me, for Josh, for our food insiders, Daria, Krista, or my, even for our sports insiders, Jay or Matt, you might want to email us at thepulsewithpeterb at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you.